Department of Mechanical Engineering and known in its dual degree course. I am from Durgapur, West Bengal. I am a boarder of Hogi Jahangir Bhava Hall of Residence. I am contesting for the post of General Secretary Sports and Games, Technology Student, Shilpana, Indian Institute of Technology, Karakpur, for the academic session 2018-2019. Club, why did you pay specific attention, specific stress on the name of your hall but not the institute? Do you consider your hall above the institute? Firstly, sir, so, my hall of residence is very crucial for me to contest for the post of any elected post of the Jimkhana. Because in order to contest for the post of any elected post of the Jimkhana, one has to be attached with a general body. And in order to be attached with a general body, one has to be a part of some hall of residence. Apart from that fact, my Hall of Residence has had a very positive impact in shaping of my personality and has led me to become the person that I am today. So I have a follow-up follow for all this to happen. You should be a student of IIT Kharagpur, right? So you should have uh, paid more stress to the name of Indian Institute of Technology Kharagpur, right? Firstly, sir, Homi Jahangir Bhava itself is a part of IIT Kharagpur. And when I mentioned that I am a part of Homi Jahangir Bhava Hall of Residence, it clearly implied that I am a part of IIT Kharagpur. Apart from that, I also mentioned that I am a part of IIT Kharagpur when I continued with my introduction towards the end of the introduction. Okay, next one. Sir, you will not mention your CGPA in your introduction. Don't you think it's necessary for you to uh, mention your CGPA? Firstly, sir, the cumulative grade point average of a person is in no way connected to the context of his candidature for this post. However, I would like to satisfy your query. My current cumulative grade point average is 8.97. Right from my school days, I was involved in diverse spheres of extracurricular activities, ranging from sports to managerial responsibilities. I played for my school in the inter-school football and cricket tournaments for four consecutive years. I also took up several positions of responsibility beginning from the time I was at school. After beginning the next chapter of my life at IIT Kharagpur, I continued my involvement in several extra-academic activities. As a fresher, I was a member of the athletic team of Lal Bahadur Shastri Hall of Residence. We secured gold in the Inter Hall Athletic General Championship 2016. In my second year, I was a member of the athletic team of Homi Jahangir Bhava Hall of Residence and participated in four different events in the Inter Hall Athletic General Championship 2016-17. From there, I made a significant improvement of 13 seconds in my 400 meter timing in a mere span of two months. This enabled me to earn a spot in the probable team of athletics for the 52nd inter IT Sports Meet. Currently, I am a part of the athletics team of IIT Kharagpur. I have had several experiences on the managerial front as well. I am currently the secretary of the Lord Tennis and the Quartz Subcommittees of Homi Jahangir Bhava Hall of Residence. During my tenure, Homi Jahangir Bhava Hall of Residence secured gold in the Inter Hall Quartz Tournament. During my tenure, it was the first time that Homi Jahangir Bhava Hall put up a lawn tennis team which reached the quarter final stages of the Inter Hall Lawn Tennis Tournament. I was involved in the conduction of the Open IIT 2.2 km road race for women and 5 km road race for men in the autumn semester 2017. I was also involved in the smooth conduction of the Open IIT Triathlon for girls and Pentathlon for boys in the spring semester 2018. Very recently, 
I conducted a recreational sports event called Sambharsh in Homi Jahangir Bhava Hall of Residence. That comprised of two non-conventional sports, namely foot cricket and foot volley. Community work is a cause that is close to my heart and this led me to conduct a sports day program for the kids of Sola Dahur village as a part of Sweden, a community initiative of IIT Kharagpur under the supervision of Madam Bernali Chakraborty. <laughs> Currently, I am a member of the national service team of IIT Kharagpur, being in association of which has taught me the importance and essence of selfless community work. <laughs> I further continued that notion by being a part of Sweden. Apart from all the extracurricular involvements that I have been a part of, I always maintain a stellar academic record. In my 11th standard, I cleared the Regional Mathematical Olympiad and was selected for the training camp at Indian Statistical Institute, Kolkata. Also in my 11th standard, I cleared the national standard examinations for chemistry and astronomy. As I mentioned previously, my cumulative grade point average is 8.97. All these involvements that I have had have inculcated in me the quality of effective time management and have given me a lot of experience which would provide a very fruitful opportunity to serve the institute by being a member of the Jibhana as a General Secretary, Sports and Games. I have a question. Why are only men selected for the post of contingent captain and vice contingent captain? The notion of the contingent captain and the vice captain too where was first introduced in the year 2015. This was because, uh, this was, that was the first year when the notion of overall general championship was introduced in the inter IIT sports meet. After that, nominations for the captaincy or, and the vice captaincy of the contingent could be filed by, uh, it was, the provision was made that the nominations could be filed not just by male candidates but the female candidates as well. However, till now there has not been any nomination from the female candidates. However, in the future, if any no uh, nomination is being filed by the female candidates, those will be taken care of by the concerned authorities and there would be no doubt whether uh, there would be no doubt if the if a female candidate becomes the captain or the vice captain of the proposed contingent of IIT Kharagpur. Sir, on what grounds the general secretary sports and games can be impeached? On what grounds the GSEC sports can be impeached? Sir, <laughs> 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 on what grounds the general secretary be impeached? And if that happens, then what is the procedure to reappoint the General Secretary Sports and Games? Firstly, sir, the decision to impeach a General Secretary or for that matter a uh, elected post bearer lies on the rector, on the, uh, on the advice of the President. Shubhram, my question for you is that, are you aspiring to get in the inter IIT team next year and get gold for the IIT KGP team? Definitely, sir. I am very much keen to get into the inter IIT team the next year because my performance has been significantly improving from the time I began athletics and I expect it to improve to the extent that I am selected to the inter IIT team for the next inter IIT sports meet. Shubhram, 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 My follow-up is that, uh, don't you think this post will hinder your overall performance of this entire IT. What are your practices? So, I believe that if I am selected as the General Secretary of Sports and Games, that will motivate me even further to become the general, uh, become a contingent member of the entire IT sports meet. Because I would have to fulfill the duties there in the uh, contain, there in the sports meet as well. Subram, so, 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 I have a so, What is the reason for IT KGB sports? Excuse me sir, can you repeat the question? You know, sir, for IIT KGB Sports. So if I am elected to the post of General Secretary Sports and Games, my primary objective will be to ensure that our contingent brings gold in the inter IIT Sports Meet. Subram, 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 you once had a Facebook display picture which reads out, Rest in Peace KGP Culture, Go Ahead Administration. You criticized the administration earlier and now you are contesting for the show. Don't you think that this contradicts your views and are you an anarchist? Firstly, sir, I 
would request you to provide proof back on a public forum. I have the screenshot for this day. Please, please, please see. Sir, there can be deliberations done on Fort Stop. That is stop. It is, it is, it is present on your Facebook profile as of now. You can open and try it. So I clearly mentioned that that kind of picture is nowhere there in my Facebook account and I am very sure of that. What you are providing is definitely a photoshopped version of the picture. Why did SJB Hall conduct this to unconventional sports in the month of March when the elections are happening? Firstly, sir, the objective of conducting the recreational sports event called Sangharsh was primarily to bring out people so as to so as to entertain them by participating in two non-conventional sports, namely foot cricket and foot volley. There were 24 teams which came for participating in foot cricket and a total of 16 teams which came to participate in foot volley and they thoroughly enjoyed the event and the participation saw an immense proficiency from the part of the players that come in to participate. That has become a member of the entire IT sports meet. I don't know. So I have the list of the new IITs which signed a contingent size of 41 members in the entire IT sports meet, and I can show you to show it to you after my session. Sure, because I have my question. No point. You did not get my question, which is the newest IIT that has become a part of entire IT sports meet. The answer is IIT Dhanbad. Now tell me, what is the total number of IITs that participate in entire IT sports meet? Total number of IITs that participate in the Interactive Sports Meet is 23. Uh, you conducted uh, Sangharsh in your Hall of Residence. Isn't it detrimental to women participation as they cannot enter your hall? Firstly, ma'am, I tried to gather info, uh, gather permission from the warden of our Hall of Residence to allow women contestants to participate in the sporting event called Sangharsh. However, the permission was not possible to be attained from the warden. That's why it was unable. Un that's why it was not possible for us to conduct the event and include women participation in it. So, you have initiated that. Whether that a sports complex would have been a better option? Why? In why are you attaching your hall of presidents and then hence it will be a publicity event if you are doing so? Firstly, ma'am, I would like to ensure you the fact that it was no publicity, publicity stunt from our part. If you would go through that the two events that were there conducted in Sangharsh, those were foot cricket and foot volley. It was absolutely infeasible to conduct these two events in the Tata Sports Complex. Uh, Shobhra, this year there was a proposal from IIT Kharagpur at the inter IT Sports Board meeting to introduce football for women. Now, firstly we do not have football for women in our campus, it is a redundant proposal. Why then? What was the motivation behind the General Secretary to propose this at a meet of national stature? Firstly, sir, I would like to correct your fact. Women's football is a part of the curriculum of IIT Kharagpur as a part of the Women's Week. It has been conducted till now for three consecutive sessions. Ram, that uh, you were the Secretary of Sport for your Hall of Residence and uh, you are claiming that that led to a hold uh, for your Hall. Don't you think that even there was some other secretary or even no secretary for that matter, your team would have secured a goal? So what was your point of mentioning your uh, position of responsibility? <laughs> Firstly, sir, our Hall of Residence has good enough players to secure medals in the Inter-Hall Squash Tournament. Apart from the fact that I was a secretary of the Squash Subcommittee in my Hall of Residence, I would not take the entire claim of it of the gold medal myself. I would also like to state that I have taken up certain initiatives and several things that have to be done as the Secretary of the Sports Subcommittee in my Hall of Residence. So, who is the in charge of billiards in technology student Jamkhana? Who is the in charge of billiards in technology student Jamkhana? The information that you are catering to is stored digitally in my laptop and I can refer to you later after my statement of purpose. So, bro. Why didn't sports don't even know the names? So, Graham, why didn't sports test being connected this year, even though Interhall has entered before? What is the common name of Yes, sir, the, the meeting for the conduction of Sorya again in our campus was done in October last year. However, the president 
clearly state that the conduction of Soria would not be possible in this academic session. Apart from that, the General Secretary Sports and Games of the current academic session tried to conduct a sporting event of some sports in a smaller scale instead of conducting Soria on a grander scale. However, in this particular semester, the different team of our sports contingents prefer to go for outstation tournaments instead of bringing in teams from outside into the campus. And that was the reason why Soria was not conducted in this academic session. Shubhra, this year after the conclusion of the inter-IT sports meet, the contingent members were promised that when if they come directly to Kharagpur, the train tickets will be reimbursed. It hasn't been done till now. We are nearing the end of academic session and this hasn't been done. Is it a failure on the part of current general secretary? No sir, it is not absolutely a failure on the part of the general secretary. This is because they have taken due care with respect to the fact that the reimbursements are done in due time and the academic semester is still left to be over and I believe that the reimbursements would be done as soon as the procedures are completed. So you mentioned in your statement of purpose that uh, you conducted few events for girls uh, in, in athletics. So can you let me know what was the number of girls who participated and uh, why was the number so low? Firstly ma'am, refrain yourself from making allegations about the number of women participants in the events that I conducted. Yes ma'am, speaking of the exact number, in the Open IIT 2.2 km road race, the number of women participants was 30 and the number of women participants in the Open IIT triathlon event for girls was 20. We'll take two more questions now. Two more questions. Shubram, Shubram, you are not a follow up. Follow up. Follow up. Shubram, you are not. See, uh, so the number 30, don't you think it is less compared to the total number of girls students in the campus? Ma'am, the girl students in the campus are always very enthusiastic about sports and the number that turned up is definitely a proud number because so you're saying that let me complete my answer please it is definitely a proud number because of the enthusiasm and the intensity with which the female participants participated and gave results in these two Ma'am, let me complete my answer please Let me get us to the fact that the women participation in the campus is very good right as of now and if I am elected to the post of General Secretary, I would like to improve on that even more. Number and it is something that can be happy that we can be happy of. However, satisfaction never comes at anything. We have always the scope of opportunity to scope of improvement. And that will be the cause that I will be working towards if I am elected to the post if I am elected to the post of general secretary in court again. Next one. How are you planning to cater the situation next year? Firstly, sir, I made a very significant improvement of 13 seconds in my 400 meter timing as I have already said in my statement of purpose. That reduced the time gap that existed between me and the other participants. Sir, let me complete my answer, please. That reduced the gap between me and the others who were selected for the Interactive Sports Meet. And I believe that the improvement rate at which I am progressing would definitely enable me to be at a position that I will be able to get into the Interactive Sports Meet as a member of the athletic team in the subsequent years. as the General Secretary Sports and Game Technology student Jim Khanna. Proposal 1. Conduction of workshop to improve the nutritional awareness and fitness status of student fraternity of IIT Kharagpur by collaborating with the Institute of Nutrition and Fitness Sciences. Proposal 2. Organization of para open IIT events for the differently abled students of IIT Kharagpur. I would like to discuss my first proposal in detail. Proposal 1. <coughs> Conduction of workshops to improve nutritional awareness and fitness status of the student fraternity of IIT Kharagpur by collaborating with the Institute of Nutrition and Fitness Sciences. 
aim of the proposal? The primary aim of this program is to improve the overall health and fitness status of our campus. Lack of proper knowledge about health coupled with the stress of daily life takes a toll on the students. Over the years, this could lead to deteriorated health conditions and various medical conditions. A basic introduction of concepts of diet planning, healthy eating, awareness of fitness options to keep the body in shape will go a long way in helping to deal with future challenges. This will also promote students to imbibe fitness into their daily routine and tackle stress effectively. This program will also specifically focus on the fitness and nutrition of the inter IT sports contingent. This program will act as an off-season training regime before sports-specific tra training begins for the inter IT sports meet. These workshops will be conducted in the beginning of the autumn semester at a time when the outdoor sports-specific training is often hampered due to the persistent rains. The base training and conditioning would enhance the fitness level, strength and endurance levels, thus improving the sports performance and making the players more resistant to injuries at the same time. To enlighten the students about the nutrition myths and make capable of preparing their own diet charts, there would be workshops to educate students about the sports specific diets catering to their sport which has been shown to bring enhancement in their performance. The program also focuses on teaching the students about proper techniques for various gym equipments. This would enable the students to plan their strength and weight training programs based on the individual and sport specific goals. The present system. There is a lack of focus on the overall fitness and general well-being of the student body of IIT Kharagpur. Students, unless imparted with knowledge, do not really spend time thinking about healthy eating activities and physically being active. No program which exclusively focuses on the nutrition and fitness of the students in the institute, especially of the inter IIT sports contingent. Such a system would definitely improve the performance of our contingent in the inter IIT sports meet and will improve the fitness of the team members. And Subram, rest of the things we can discuss in q &A. Subram, I have a question on uh, whom all have you contacted for this proposal and on what metric would you rate the success of this proposal? So, there is a sequence of people whom I conducted, uh, contacted for the purpose of conduction of this proposal. I would like to elaborate on the same. I, I contacted with Mr. Dhaneshwaran, the General Secretary Sports and Games of IIT Madras. I contacted Mr. Arvind Sinua, who is the, currently the in charge of IMNS. <coughs> Apart from that, I contacted several physical training instructors, sports officers and the senior sports officers for their consensus about conducting such workshops. I have also made a review of 90 pressures approximately and got the suggestion of 80 students that they are very happy and keen to participate in these kind of workshops. Shubram, so you did not answer Shubram? the second part of my question. I said, you did not answer the second part of my question. On what basis would you rate the success uh, of this proposal? So I would like to iterate the fact that this kind of initiative is being taken in various other institutes in India such as IIT Madras, IIT Gandhinagar and IIT Bombay. The performance of the Inter-IT Sports team of IIT Bombay in this year's Inter-IT Sports Meet reflects the impact, that the positive impact that this kind of program has had on their overall performance in the Inter-IT Sports Meet. Shubham, move to the next don't you think the entire proposal can be replaced just by uh, managing the mess duties, right? Firstly, ma'am, the mess duties would not fall under the supervision of the General Secretary Sports and Games. Apart from that, the, they are, apart from, let me complete my answer, ma'am. Apart from that, the changing of the curriculum of the mess is to be, <coughs> for that, there is a lot of sequence that has to be conducted. And what I am aiming at by my training program is to let the students know what the kind of diet that they should have or rather what kind of diet that can be possible from the availabilities that they get in their mess and the availabilities present in the technology market. So why spend a amount additional to the mess which we pay from our own pockets? Why are you spending additional amount of gym kana on the same motive, right? Firstly, ma'am, the initiative that I talked about did not include any uh, amount of cost on the part of nutrition. I, what I suggested was to plan the 
eating habits in the mess itself in a way that caters to better nutrition rather sport specific nutrition in the, for the players. Apart from that, I have also included the program in a way that the entirety mess food can be utilized in the optimum manner. So, sir, what which organization will be conducting this workshop and what is the timeline? The workshop that would be conducted would be in association of Institute of Fitness and Nutrition Science. And the timeline of the workshop is clearly mentioned in the uh, following, uh, following pages of the proposal. The timeline would be as follows. After the, after the completion of the induction program, the Friday that would be there, we would have an overview introductory seminar of the workshop that would be conducted and on the subsequent Saturdays and Sundays there would be two hours each day for theoretical as well as practical sessions for the workshops that would be conducted. <laughs> Uh, you have mentioned uh, that an approximately 10 lakh rupees would be needed to uh, to go through this proposal. How are you supposed to get that amount of money? So I mentioned in my uh, proposal that the amount of I did not mention the pro uh, amount of budget that would be required. It is written in my in the paper that I provided you, and it is approximately 1.65 lakhs. However, the, there is there has been a meeting recently for the planned budget, and in that meeting, a proposal has been uh, requested of approximately rupees 10 lakhs for the purpose of training of the sp uh, students as well as the staff. I believe that 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 amount of money which is uh, being proposed for the purpose would obviously take care of the amount of requirements for my proposal. Shubhra, I have a question. So, uh, you have said that uh, the budget for this uh, particular proposal would be coming from the 10 lakhs grant. Are you sure that the General Secretary Sports and Games has the complete authority on those 10 lakhs? And whose permission would you be taking for that? And uh, what if you are not uh, granted that particular uh, money from the annual grant? How would you uh, take your proposal forward? Ma'am, firstly, the proposal for the granting the 10 lakh amount of money is already being placed in the meeting that was uh, proposed, that was conducted uh, about the budget. And apart from that, if in case the budget is not being properly allocated by the Zimkhana, I would, uh, I have alternative options for the same. There are provisions of bringing the Institute of Fitness Science people at free of cost charges as well. But the, but what they desire for that is accommodation facility only. Shubhra, any follow-up? So basically, you're saying in case the budget is not allotted, you would be compromising on your proposal, and the entire proposal wouldn't. Be ever mentioned in my previous answer that I will compromise on my proposal. What I mentioned is an alternative method of implementing proposal, implementing my proposal in case the authorities do not give the required amount of budget for that. In case the required amount of budget is not sanctioned, there are alternative plans at a minimized budget as well. So, Shubram, so uh, the other IITs have coaches, the other IITs have a large number of infrastructural facilities which we currently need. That is the primary need. And here, is a candidate whose proposal is providing dietitians which is a secondary need of the contingent we need coaches we need infrastructure don't you think that should have been something of your proposal that is what we currently need to improve our standings at the inter it sports team so the infrastructural requirements of the sports persons of iit kharagpur are already taken care of by the administration as can be observed from the fact that there are several infrastructural developments currently going on in the campus such as the reconstruction work of the Gyanbo Stadium, the, <laughs> the indoor complex work that would be started and several other synthetic codes being constructed for that matter. What I propose is to change the nutritional requirements and the several other factors which are equally important for the improvement of the sporting culture of the campus. So, Graham, I you have mentioned, so Graham, you have mentioned wellness consultancy services for as a force of the action for your plan, right? So, who do you have conducted and why are you not using the facilities of the counseling, uh, counseling center IIT Kharagpur for the same? Why are you wasting the budget? So, firstly, I did uh, contact the General Secretary Student Welfare, Mr. Krushi Bandi for the same and I took permission from him on a verbal basis as well. Who is the professor in charge of the counseling center IIT Kharagpur? So the information that you are asking me to provide is present in my digital records and I can refer don't to those. Don't you think you should have approached?
him and uh, uh, done a concrete groundwork for your proposal. No, I have approached multiple people for this purpose and has also taken the consensus of the students as well as the physical training instructors, the senior sports officer and the sports officer. Shubram, there is a private so, so, Let me finish my answer to the Apart from that, I have taken the consensus of Mr. Sushi Bandi as well. And in case uh, there are consensus to be taken from other people apart from this, I would definitely do the facts and do my statement, uh, do my works accordingly and initiate my proposal if I am elected to the